Now you would think that finding a quality holder for your phone that you can use with your tripod would be easy. But I've wasted way too much money on crap, meaning you don't have to. Because now I have this. And this is brilliant. So with the cameras on mobile phones getting better and better, more and more people, me included, are using them at times when ordinarily you'd use your real camera. I'm loving using mine for landscape and seascape photography, and I'm really enjoying doing more and more long exposure photography. Of course, doing long exposure means your camera, I mean phone, needs to be as still as possible during the time it's taking the photographs, so it needs to be on a stable platform like a tripod. Now, if you type in phone holder for tripod on somewhere like Amazon, you'll get loads and loads of makes and models thrown back at you. And some of these, unfortunately, I paid good money for. First off, I got one of these. This one is made by Niwa, but I've also had an identical one in the past made by Manfrotto, but it broke. To fit your phone into this, you just pull open the spring-loaded jaws and then these clamp down on your phone. But this is plastic and the build quality is... Well, listen. Awful. Would you really trust this to hold your expensive camera? I mean phone. Next, I got one of these from Joby. Now, reading the description and looking at the pictures, it looked great. But again, the build quality is not good with the majority of the build being plastic. To fit your phone in, you undo this dial on the back and that releases the clamp that you then pull apart. You then push it to the sides of the phone and then turn the dial to keep it secure. However, the jaws aren't very deep, so it doesn't have the best grip on your phone. And to change the phone from vertical to horizontal orientation, you have to undo the dial. But this also loosens the grip on your phone so there's a big risk of the phone falling out. And also the build quality is, well... This other one from Joby, though, had real potential and despite being all plastic, is actually quite sturdy. To fit the phone, you prise open the spring-loaded jaws and put it in place. This circular back piece here contains a magnet, so if you're using an iPhone with MagSafe, that's another point of contact making it more secure. To go from vertical to horizontal, you just rotate the phone and the holder has very satisfying notches you can feel engage as you rotate it and that will hold it in position. However, if you use this outside and there's a breeze, and I'm not talking about gale force winds here, the phone does tend to wobble a bit. So good, but not great. My favourite until recently has been this, the universal holder for photo and video by Small Rig. All metal construction and well made like most small rig kit. This comes with handles you can screw into the sides and this is great for capturing video content. I screwed some Arca Swiss plates, one on a long side and one on a short side so that I can use it with my tripod. To go from vertical to horizontal, I just undo the ball head and reposition it and this has worked great. To attach your phone, you fit it between these jaws and then tighten down this dial which is small and quite tight up against the frame, making it hard to tighten down to the point you feel confident it has a good grip. The jaws just grip on the sides as opposed to around the sides a bit more, and there's been many times I've knocked the holder and the phone has shifted. With it also being quite tall when in vertical, the phone sits quite high, so it acts like a sail and you can get movement in just a bit of a breeze. The best I've found though, and now use, is this one, the ST27 from Ulanzi. All metal construction and it really does feel like quality, which is always good, especially as this isn't exactly cheap. But as a wise man once said, buy cheap, buy twice. And you are trusting it to hold your expensive phone, so it's well worth the price in my opinion. To fit the phone, you open the spring-loaded metal jaws and when you do, this just feels solid. These then clamp down on the phone and you secure that even more by turning the red dial 90 degrees. The jaws are plenty deep enough to have a great grip on the phone, whether it's in the case or not, and this is going nowhere. The base of the holder is designed to fit in an arc amount, so you don't need to attach any further plates. 
and to rotate the holder from vertical to horizontal, you loosen the black dial a little, and then when you have the phone in position, you just rotate the dial to tighten it. This doesn't interfere with the solid grip on the phone, unlike the Joby one that I mentioned. I've also used this holder in some pretty windy conditions, and it was rock solid. So this is now my go-to, the ST27 from Ulanzi. I've added a link in the description. Right, a couple of things before I go. Now, if you do like doing long exposure with your phone, but you don't always have your tripod with you, then definitely keep an eye out for my next video. And also this, the Photoshop Creativity Virtual Summit. 19 world-class instructors teaching 36 Photoshop classes over four days, covering such things as special effects, textures, blending, lighting, drawing, painting, compositing, and much more. I've added a link in the description where you can register for a free pass to all of the content. Right, that's all from me. So as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, click on subscribe because it's just a great free way that you can support this channel. And it really does help too. But that's me, I'm done. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.